In example 7, we're going to solve it the same way as in part A. Let's take x minus 4 raised to 2 thirds equals 16, and we'll raise both sides to a certain power. Let's raise the left side to a 3 over 2, and let's raise the right side to a 3 over 2. Now you want to be careful. I need to add a plus or minus in front of the 16. Why do I need to do that? Because if you look at the denominator here, this is even. So technically, we're going to take a root of an even. We're going to take a root of an even. Remember, when you take the square root of both sides, you have to put the plus or minus. And that's why I have to put the plus or minus. We're taking the square root of both sides because this denominator has a 2 in it. So don't forget that plus or minus because we are taking the root of an even number. Now look what happens here. The 3 over 2 cancels out with the 2 thirds. So I just have x minus 4 is equal to plus or minus. Now this, remember, is equivalent to the square root of 16. And that is also cubed. So I can simplify that. The square root of 16 is just 4. And then we have to cube it. So we have x minus 4 equals plus or minus 64. And now we could add the 4 to both sides. Let's add 4 to both sides. Now be careful, make sure you put that 4 in front of the plus or minus. So this is 4 plus or minus 64. And so we have two solutions. We have 64 plus 4, that gives me 68. Or 4 minus 64, that gives me negative 60. So we got two possible solutions. But remember, you got to check your work to make sure these are good solutions. So plug it back in to the original equation for x and double check that these two are good solutions. Again, you have to double check that these are good solutions and they are. These two are good solutions. But make sure you do check on your own by plugging it into x and making sure the equation is satisfied. Equations quadratic in form. An equation is said to be quadratic in form if it can be written as au squared plus bu plus c equals zero, where a cannot be equal to zero and u is some algebraic expression. What we're going to do in this section is use what we call u substitution. We're going to replace our expression here with a value of u so it's easier to solve. So it will be factorable. So we can use the quadratic formula. And that's what we're going to do in this section. Use u substitution. Example 8. We want to solve x plus 1 raised to the 2 thirds minus x plus 1 raised to the 1 third minus 2 equals 0. Now if you look carefully, this kind of looks like a quadratic. So let me rewrite it. Let's write this as x plus 1 raised to the 1 third squared minus x plus 1 raised to the 1 third minus 2 equals 0. Notice that this has a power of 2 just like we want. So we can easily simplify this. So let's let u be equal to x plus plus 1 raised to the 1 third. We're going to do a u substitution. This is going to give me u squared minus u minus 2 equals 0. Now that looks a lot easier to solve. This is just a factoring problem now. We have negative 2 negative 1 down here. The two numbers are 2 and 1. I know this is a negative 2. So the reason we did this is so we can factor it. It looks a lot easier to factor it than this complicated expression here in the beginning. Now we can solve for u. 
u minus 2 equals 0, or u plus 1 equals 0, I have u equals 2, or u equals negative 1. But remember, you can't just leave it like this, you have to convert it back. So what was u originally? u was x plus 1 raised to the 1 third, so I'll re-substitute that back in for the u. And same thing here, we'll replace the u with x plus 1 to the 1 third. Now, how do we get rid of that 1 third? Well, I'm going to raise both sides here to a power of 3. Same thing here on the other side. On the left, we have x plus 1 equals 8. And on the left side, we have x equals 7. And on the right side, if you subtract 1 to both sides, you get x equals negative 2. So don't forget to double check these solutions. They are both good. So make sure you plug it back in for the x to make sure these are good solutions. And they are good solutions, but double check on your own that the original equation is satisfied. In part b, let's solve 6x to the negative 2 plus x to the negative 1 equals 2. Again, I want to replace these with u's somehow. So let's rewrite this. I want to end up with a power of 2. So what exponent has to be on the inside so you get a power of 2? Well, this thing has to be a negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 gives us that negative 2 back. So I know that this is the same as 6x to the negative 2. Negative 1 times 2 gives me negative 2. So I'm just rewriting it so this has a power of 2 but the equation is still equivalent to the original. Now let's let u be equal to x to the negative 1. That would imply this becomes 6u squared and this would be a u, this would be equal to 2. Let's subtract the 2 to both sides. I have 6u squared plus u minus 2 equals 0. This is the AC method. Let's multiply the 6 and the negative 2. Negative 12 here and a 1. I know the two numbers are 3 and 4. This has to be a negative 3. So don't forget we're going to have to split the middle here since this is the AC method. And now I can factor this. Let's factor out a 3u from the front. This is 2u minus 1. And I'll take a 2 from the second one. That gives me 2u minus 1 again. And so I know I factored it right. Let's take out the 2u minus 1. And we have 3u plus 2 left over. And I can solve for the u now. u is equal to 1 over 2. Or u equals negative 2 over 3. Again, I set each of these equal to 0. Then I solve for the u. But don't forget to replace the u back what it was originally. So recall u was equal to x to the negative 1, so this is what we have. And now I could raise both sides to the negative 1. And this simplifies to x equals. Now remember, when you raise something to the negative 1, it's equivalent to taking the reciprocal. So we have x to the negative 3 over 2. And here, if I take the reciprocal, I get just x equals 2. So we have two solutions, x equals negative 3 over 2, or x equals 2. Now again, double check in the original equation that these are both good solutions, and they are. 
In example 9, again, I want to make sure this is a power of 2. So let's rewrite it so it's a power of 2 somehow. What goes on the inside? So that this is still a power of 2? Well, I need an x squared. 2 times 2 gives me 4. So I'm not really changing anything in the original equation. It's going to just become a power of 2 now. Let's let u be equal to x squared. This becomes 12u squared minus, remember, this x squared is going to become a u. So this is just 11u plus 2 equals 0. And again, we're going to use the AC method. Multiply the 12 times the 2. That's 24. I have a negative 11 on the bottom. So what's the two numbers that multiply to get 24 but add up to negative 11? That's negative 3 and negative 8. I have 12u squared minus 3u minus 8u plus 2 equals 0. Again, I split the middle because we're using the AC method because of that leading coefficient. Let's look at the pairs now. Let's take out a 3u to the front. I have 4u minus 1. Let's take out a 2 to the front. We have 4u minus 1 again. And since they're the same, I know I did it right. 4u minus 1 factored out to the front. 3u plus 2 left over. Now we have 4u minus 1 can be set equal to 0, or 3u plus 2 can be set equal to 0. Now solve each of these on your own. You should get u equals 1 fourth, or u equals negative 2 thirds. Again, solve each one on your own. Make sure you get u equals 1 fourth, and u equals negative 2 over 3. Now, what was u originally? u was x squared, so let's replace the u with x squared now. We have x squared equals 2 thirds, or x squared equals 1 fourth. Let's take the square root of both sides now to get rid of that x squared term, but don't forget that plus or minus. Don't forget that plus or minus since we're taking a root of an even number. Now I can simplify this further as x equals plus or minus the square root of 2 over the square root of 3. And on this side we have this is equivalent to x equals plus or minus the square root of 1 over the square root of 4. Now you have to be careful we cannot have a radical in the denominator. So let's multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 3. This simplifies to plus or minus root 6 over 3. And that's two solutions right there, plus or minus root 6 over 3. Here, this simplifies to plus or minus 1 over 2.